Hello folks and welcome to the Combat Clinic. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at one of my recent fights and probably giving myself a score out of 10, looking for areas where we may have um, acted suboptimally or we could have squeezed a little bit more out of the fight. I've uh, been experimenting trying to figure out uh, what kind of content I can create for Heroes 3 that's a little bit more snack-sized, a little bit easier to um, to digest than uh, following me through an entire campaign, which I realise is, of course, a pretty big uh, commitment uh, for you guys uh, as the viewer. So uh, what we've got here is a fight between Labitha the Elementalist in the corner, that's us, uh, against Vitamina the Necromancer. So without further ado, let's get into the fight and we'll have a look at how well uh, I did in real time. So let's have a listen here to the previous version of me uh, working his way through the early stages of this fight. Expert slow, pass the turn. You haste your boat, your ghost dragons, the ghost dragons fly over here and attack my elves. If you do expert haste, I'm really sad. Okay, I think I like that logic, right, because obviously expert slow is the kind of thing we want to do on turn one, to slow her entire army down, leverage the uh, archery uh, capabilities of... Um, of our side of the battlefield. Uh, the counter to that is, of course, if Vitamine is an expert air mage, casting expert haste completely undoes slow, overwrites it, and replaces it with haste. And we're extremely sad in that case. We've effectively thrown away our advantage. Uh, the Dread Knights uh, will be on us in one turn. Uh, probably the Wyverns will as well. Certainly the Ghost Dragons. We're going to lose an awful lot more troops than we wanted to. I think I'm still right to do this first. Although... An one way to hedge against expert haste is to implode 1732. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Oh. So my probably overreacted a little bit there, but um, what I was doing there, I clicked the implode button just to have a look and um, speculate on the possibility of imploding. I wasn't definitely going to go for implode. Um, you can click a spell like you know, ice bolt and what have you, lightning bolt, implode just to hover over and have a think about whether you're going to do it or not. It doesn't necessarily commit you to the spell. Um, but of course, coming back out to the uh, main window here, we see that vitamine has got the Recanter's Cloak on, which means neither of us can cast uh, third level spells or higher, so that's implode out the window. Critically, though, and the reason why I'm reacting so strongly is that it also rules out resurrection. So my strategy had been, whichever unit, we hope it's the Grand Elves, take a beating. Uh, just the last turn before we uh, end the fight, or maybe... It, might be the last two turns, we resurrect the Grand Elves. Now it's going to turn out the fact that it turns out that we can't do that and we're going to need to, what we should be doing is adjusting our strategy accordingly. Thankfully I can still cast something. I can still cast first and second level spells. Let's have a look at what those are. Okay. So we well, go for the Expert well, Slow. We wait with the phoenixes. The ghost dragons wait in response. Oh no, ghost the dragons do not wait. They have not turn yet. Right, so here we go. Oh, Eventually oh, we get to the ghost dragons, oh, and you can see my reaction. Oh, or you can hear my reaction. She's an expert earth mage. She's an expert earth, earth mage. So in when it was the ghost dragons I'm turn, sorry, even though they were slowed, that really favors me big time. Right, so when it's the ghost dragon's turn uh, she casts expert slow she's an expert slow expert earth mage uh, herself and we now have a completely different dynamic and my initial reaction is that this does favor me massively because we have the ice elementals and the grand elves uh, to sit back and if, if everyone's really slow then that'll just suit me just fine i outgun you i like this targeting the power liches it's going to it's gonna be a war of archery that killed who did that kill? Did that kill some... Uh, didn't do too much damage. Did that kill some of these guys? I think I can't remember if um, what my starting stack was. It may, I think it did kill some uh, there storm, and, storm elementals there. These guys are here, so if these guys stand here, I'll be safe after the phoenixes move. Yeah, so just getting a... turning off death cloud sort of makes some sense there. That's relevant. Yeah, I like that, just working them over while we're trying to figure out what the strategy is. Just get out of here. So here, I think... I don't I think I move them where they should be moved. They should be going down there where my mouse is pointing. Just stay quiet. But they don't. So let's pause there. I think that's a mistake. Right, so 
here's the issue. The Ghost Dragons have waited. They can cover the map in um, not this turn. But they'll move this turn, and when they move again, they'll be able to come over. They'll act before the Grand Elves. I definitely messed up here. It's necessary to block off the Grand Elves with something. If the Unicorns can't get there, maybe the Magic Elementals can get down to help. Even the Phoenixes could do the job. Um, yeah, uh, on our first turn, maybe we can do something mean to the uh, Ghost Dragons, figure out how we're going to deal with them. Uh, but I think leaving the Grand Elves exposed with Resurrection turned off here, just moving the Dendroids out to the middle was a mistake. I was thinking about Death Cloud, but of course, with only seven power liches, that doesn't really matter at the moment. So I think this definitely is our first mistake. We're not getting 10 out of 10 here. The archery advantage. How slow is a slow Phoenix? We're about to find out. Good question. Let's finish these guys off. Get them dead. I think we should have been working over the Ghost Dragons already. Notice how the vampires, oh, wyverns have lined up so that the phoenixes can't leverage their breath. Didn't work on these. Though. Weapon. There's nowhere for the phoenix yeah. phoenixes to stand other than in front of the vampires. Um, how far are they going to be able to move on their turn? And face retaliation from the vampires. So they're obviously not what we want to do. Um, stone skin. Run away with the phoenixes. I can't okay, let's pause here. So we're beginning to wake up to the fact that the Ghost Dragons are a problem. Only now, at the end of round one, when the Phoenixes are coming back to their turn, we're beginning to realise that those Ghost Dragons are coming over their third to act next turn, and I think instinctively my reaction is start killing them. Um, so as we'll see as I unpause it here, I lose a Phoenix in response. Dreadlights. That's quite a bad outcome. Yeah, I think this is a tough call. Labith is an expert water mage, so we could expert Drops bless instead of expert. Is, do I cast uh, shield, shield? Or bless? And you see, as you can see, I've moved the phoenixes well, back to protect the elves to, to take the option, um, so to send the ghost dragons to whichever direction they, they might go. Okay. But it's not enough, and the elves take that hit. They take that instead. hit, okay, so and it's a nasty last. hit. Okay, expert bless. Love this. I mean, these guys take storm elementals, ice elementals. And then the good luck on top is just excellent, and yeah, we kill four, four ghost dragons, but four. again, we've lost a phoenix, we've lost elves here. Dispel! Yeah, there I love is. this dispel from Vitamina, right? Um, unlocking the Dread Knight's a fantastic target so, that I've left dangling dead. out there. I feel like the magic elements should be back home, uh, helping um, in the bottom left. Oh, 12 is still decent. There's only one power left, so Slightly it annoying. just doesn't matter. I think this is fine, right? You're just not going to be able to cope with this. Ten of these kills, most of you. Yeah. Yeah, and so this is yeah, fine. Small group of vampire lords aren't going to be able to leverage much. Oh. Drains enemy mana, but I thought it gave it to bit of mana, but it didn't. Okay, this is just me not, not remembering the rules properly so of waiting. how those things work. The doing raids. That. No big deal. You guys are doing... We have about 30-odd Ents there, or 34, on the two Ghost Dragons. It's, it's yeah, obvious so that we're just going to make that, this attack. Them, surely. I've um, got less switched on as well. That's nice. I'm so slow, it's hilarious. Movement two. Is it better? There's another dispel up the sleeve here for, say, the wyverns or something. True. True, of course, yeah. Must be yeah. about these guys. Yeah, absolutely. 23 points of damage is pretty sweet. So that was good. Yeah. I, I mean, I learned my lesson and I just sort of unlearned it there in live stuff yeah. in front of you guys as I'm thinking so about I'm this stuff. Yeah, of course. Uh, the wyverns could have been dispelled and flown over and uh, had to go with Grand Elves. So we absolutely do Expert need to continue to um, uh, keep blocking. So th this is just a decision that's to... Yeah, they're just completely dead. Oh. Uh, so, and finally leveraging the amazing advantage we have in the archery. So if you also come down here and finish taking more damage than we need to, I think that's okay. Hopefully I get to kill the vampires here. I think I agree. It's nice. Doesn't quite work. That's really so, annoying. Now we have this residual problem of the Dread Knights. It feels so strange. Like just the, it's the Recanter's cloak has just been a, fantastic for them. It has. I think this is okay. Yeah. Don't mind this. Yep, expert shield. Hopefully it'll tell us how much it. Now makes. see this I don't like. All right. It's all yours. It's probably border elementals now, right? Yeah. How many? I think yes. I was thinking to myself. Let's get ready to attack the eight? Dread Knights with the Phoenixes, eight? but is that really something I want to do? I just want to shoot those things, right? Oh, that's good. Quick maths here, right? No, I don't do the maths. I expect... 
Okay, so Stormy's getting good luck. Killing six Dread Knights with 50 seems so, so nice. Uh, this is fine, we don't really want to provoke a retaliation with them, so doing nothing is okay. There's okay, Dispel we'll on the raid, right. oh, and right. sadly, I'll, I'll take that. We do have to accept, uh, take our medicine. Just come to here, keep our options open, I'm not sure what I'm doing with them yet. And these are the stacks that I want to take damage in, right? like, like my small, uh, non-committing sort of stacks, like losing the magic elementals maybe in this fight is something I should have aspired to. Losing ice elementals, I think, is better, obviously, than losing grand elves. Um, obviously? Touch and go. The ice elementals are a giant stack as well that aren't going anywhere. They're part of my long game strategy, so. So resoundingly. May as well do this. Yeah. And the phoenixes kind of just did me nothing right there. They just did everyone. What does the spell do? I think it's Q is the one I want, right? Yeah. Cure, I cure everyone. Okay, so here are the options. I think this is right what I'm thinking about is cure you. everyone means everyone is faster than the wraiths. 160. Um, right. Except for, well, things that are naturally slower than them. But then I like this variation where we go spell. Instead of that, we do ice bolt and just phoenix them. And you do so much damage with blessed phoenixes that, oh, yeah, there's only really 10 left. Good. And okay, now the game's over. So. Um, I'll let this I'll let I'll let this continue rolling uh, just while I'm thinking about uh, the, the the residual. But look, in summary, I think it was correct to stay massively back here and wandering out into the middle, even with the unicorns, um, certainly with the magic elementals, was unnecessary. We had such an advantage in firepower, and with both sides having done expert slow right from the beginning, I think it was a mistake to venture forth. And the phoenixes have flown around and probably wasted at least one turn. That's not too bad. I'll take that. Okay, so I'm saying here that's not bad, and I'll take that. I think, though, in hindsight, um, it's not amazing, right? I feel like one Phoenix is more than I wanted to lose or needed to lose, and certainly 17 Grand Elves as well. I feel like a more reasonable exchange might have been something like all the Magic Elementals, um, perhaps eight Storm Elementals as well, maybe ten Ice Elementals, um, instead of losing the Phoenixes and the, um, uh, the Grand Elves. I think I do like the order of events, though, in terms of cast the spells we chose to cast and when we cast them. So hopefully that's been of some sort of interest to you guys. Just a quick look back at uh, one of the more interesting combats from the last campaign. Uh, I probably only give myself about 5 out of 10, honestly, maybe 6 out of 10 tops uh, for my decision making. I think the cloak kind of threw me a little bit, and um, I'd been so used to spamming Resurrection with the Grand Elves uh, and just really getting my own way that uh, I don't think I quite played this as optimally as I should have. I, I at least did contemplate Expert Haste, I contemplated Dispel, but I didn't really move the units around in a way that um, sort of uh, reflected that, that consideration. So anyway, let me know in the comments if this uh, style of short content is interesting to you guys. Uh, it's very easy for me to do <laughs> uh, relative to the other type of content I've been doing for Heroes 3, so give me a shout in the comments, tell me what you think. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.